You've been typing on a computer your entire life, but you're not getting any faster. Let's talk about why. Welcome to another episode of Here's Something Interesting. Today I want to talk about skills that we learn and why after a certain point in time we stop improving in those skills. For the example in this video we're going to talk about typing on a computer. I've been typing on a computer the majority of my life, and right now in my job I spend over 90% of my time at a computer typing. Yet, I'm not any faster today than I was 3 or 4 years ago, and 3 or 4 years in the future I won't be any faster than I am today. Why is this? Your first instinct might be to assume that this is the limit of your abilities, but for most people that's not true. Learning a new task is broken down into three stages. There's the cognitive stage, the associative stage, and the autonomous stage. In the cognitive stage, you're learning new strategies in order to improve at the task and become a little bit more efficient. In the associative stage, you're concentrating less, you're making less mistakes, and you're becoming more efficient. And in the autonomous stage, you stop consciously thinking about the task that you're performing. You sort of do it automatically. The autonomous stage is the answer to why we stop improving at tasks. The parts of our brain that control cognitive thought and reasoning decrease significantly. In this stage, you decide that you're as good as you need to be at that task, and so you stop pushing yourself and you stop improving. Some might call this the OK Plateau. When you hit this plateau in the autonomous stage, regardless of how much time you spend on that task, you're not actually getting any better at it. This is because the amount of time you spend practicing is far less important than how you practice that task. You could practice something on a consistent and regular basis, whether that's playing a sport, or typing, or driving, or anything else. But you're never going to improve if you remain in that autonomous stage and just do it without thinking. Science shows that if we want to improve, we have to stay in that first cognitive stage while we practice. In the case of typing, there's an easy way to do this. Type 10 to 20% faster than your normal comfort pace. Be okay with making mistakes, be okay with messing up. That's actually how you're going to improve. When you're pushing your boundaries and trying to type faster than you think you can, you're engaging your cognitive thought, your reasoning skills, and that's going to help you improve with the task. So there you go. That answers the question of why you don't get any better at typing even though you do it every day. That's all for this week's episode. I know this video was posted a little bit later than normal and I apologize for that. Normally I do videos every Thursday and there will be another one coming this Thursday. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down here. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, hit the button right down here. Thank you for watching and as always, stay curious.